Okay, so you want to go from this to this. Well, you're in the right video because today we're going to learn how to use gallery views and Notion for dummies. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, now the very first step that we need to do is to create a page. Now we're going to do this one and we're going to call it Notion Tutorial and let's say gallery views. Now, how are we going to do the beautiful cards things and notion that you see all over TikTok and Instagram? Well, the very first thing that we need to do in order to get this effect is to go and create a database. But not any database, we're going to do a gallery review database like this one on the screen. And then when we select data source, if you have any other databases that you created previously, you can select them. Or in this case, we're going to create a new one. So we're just going to call it, I don't know, class maybe. Yeah, like this. Okay, this is starting to get similar to the thing that we actually have on our head. But this looks kind of ugly, if I might say so. So the thing that you probably are wondering is how do we get that image that I see on these pages? So in this case, I have the to-do list and on page two, I got nothing. So it shows nothing. Well, this is achieved by something called covers. So how are we going to achieve this? We're going to go into the database settings and then go into, where is it? the layout on gallery, and then we're gonna select the card preview. What are we gonna preview? In this case, you have two options. You have a page cover, which we'll set on each of our pages inside our database, or you can get the page content to show each time that you're on the database. So in this case, we wanna do a page cover just because it's more beautiful in my opinion. And we're just gonna go over it. We're just gonna click it. And now you'll see that the pages that we see are actually blank because we don't have any page cover. So we're gonna fix that in one moment. Okay, I have just clicked inside the page one and we're gonna name it, I don't know, maths. So we're gonna add an icon just because I, I would like to and it looks better that way. So we're gonna click on emojis. I don't like that much. We're gonna click on icon and we're gonna do math and we're gonna select the cover. Now we're gonna go into this. This one comes by default. I don't like it really much, but we're gonna change it and we're gonna go to Unsplash. Unsplash is the place where you wanna get all of your images just because of the sheer quality that it has. Incredible. So we're just gonna type in maths. Let's see what appears. I like this image, the second one. So we're just going to click it and it appears like that. So when we go back into our database, onto our class database, it shows maths and the cover that we have selected. And as you can see on the screen, if you have followed all of these steps, you could actually make something like this, like I have on my screen. This is a gallery view that I have created for my class. Yeah, and yes, this is in Spanish, just because I can. <laughs> no, actually, just because my university is in Spanish. So, as you can see, I have all of my gallery view with all of my pictures that I took from Unsplash. And in my opinion, this looks very, very good, very aesthetically pleasing. So, that was it. That was the tutorial on how to create gallery views on Notion for dummies. So yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and follow me for more. Goodbye.